How do you master Lindy Hop without a partner? I've got some great tips for you leaders and followers, so stay tuned. Do you remember those times when you come home from a really big swing dancing event? You're emotionally on a new high and something happens to you. We like to call it the Lindy Hop Blues. It's that terrible feeling of knowing you don't have a partner to practice with when you get back home. I totally share the burden with a lot of people that are out there because I have the exact same situation happen to me. Now I've learned over time that there are only two ways that you can perceive this situation. You can be typical like most people and look at it as a stumbling block. Or you can be like the minority of people who seem to be good at everything that they put their hands to because they look at it as a positive opportunity for growth. You can actually practice some things by yourself without having to worry about perfect execution with your partner. One of the key things Things that leaders and followers can focus on when they're separated from their partner is how their shapes look. We don't really think about how we look as swing dancers a lot of times unless you're working on a routine or some specific move at a time. But when you are actually separated, it allows you to focus on how you actually look as opposed to how your movements feel with your partner. The second area that you're going to be able to focus on by yourself are your fundamentals. Now what's fundamental? When you strip everything away from Lindy Hop and you get down to the studs, we're left with rhythm and rhythm tools. Two of those fundamental rhythm tools are rock steps and triple steps. These are so intrinsic to Lindy Hop, it's almost impossible to not do them, no matter what your style is. One of the things that I did is I would practice rock stepping and triple stepping in swing time. This allowed me to develop the rhythm in my own body so that when I went back and social dance with my partner, those were never problems anymore. You will be amazed to see the results that you get by practicing your own fundamentals by yourself. I can tell you as an instructor who travels around the globe, almost 50% of the problems that I witness with students go back down to one of these fundamental rhythm tools. Once you've developed the habit of practicing your shapes and your rhythm by yourself, the only thing left is maturation in your role as a leader or follower. So I encourage you, if you haven't plugged into my Fundamentals and Beyond course, we actually put all these pieces together to help you practically mature at a speed that you desire. Once you take away all of the complexities of Lindy Hop and you're left with the elemental ingredients, the only thing left is hard work and determination. If you've liked what you've seen today, make sure you subscribe below to learn more about swing dancing, swing music, and swing history. If I don't see you online in one of my classes, hopefully we'll get a chance to dance on the social dance floor. Take care.